Spiral, also called Spiral from the Book of Saw, is the 2021 film directed by Darren Lynn Bousman, written by Pete Goldfinger and Josh Stolberg. And this is technically Saw 9, but it's actually not directly connected because this is about a copycat. And I'll talk more about that in a moment, but I will say before I go in with any details, um, I enjoyed it. I wasn't sure what I'd think of it. And when I first heard the, well, I was going to call it Jigsaw's voice, but when I first heard the voice of the person copycatting, I, I didn't like it. And I, I even having seen the film, I still don't like the voice on the tapes. There's something about it that's really irritating and I just do not like it. Maybe it's meant to be irritating. I don't know. Um, but other than that, I found it to be really fascinating. It's a very well-written narrative as we follow Detective Banks, played by Chris Rock, and um, various other police officers. And it's police officers who are being targeted. But why? Who is doing it? Honestly, I think it's very cleverly written. I didn't work out what was happening. I had my suspicions, but I was wrong. And I'm pleased I was wrong because it meant that when we had various things revealed, it came as a, as a surprise. And with regards to the horror aspect, honestly, the actual games, the traps, they weren't very good, to be quite frank. They weren't very, you know, scary. They didn't make me feel sick. One did. One of them did. And I might, for the spoiler warning, say which one. But generally, I found it to be less about the games and more about the mystery of what was going on, which is fine as long as I think you know that going into it. Whereas the previous eight films, some more than others, but a lot of it is about the creativity of the traps and how they're going to get out of it or not, as the case may be. This one, they felt very secondary with the mystery of who was doing it at the forefront and I think it worked quite well, but it is just worth bearing in mind that if you like Saw or the Saw films because of the creativity and the unpredictability of the kind of traps that we're going to see, it's not that good here with that in mind. However, I really liked it. Um, I liked the development of the narrative. I really liked Banks as a character. We also have Samuel L. Jackson as, as his father, Marcus Banks, and um, various other characters who were either very well written or very fascinating. Um, nobody felt like they didn't have a place. Sometimes with mystery films, you'll have characters who we who we learn about and they're just pointless. They don't serve a purpose. But here I felt like it was easy to get a connection with everybody and everybody had something to offer. And that, that really helped with shaping the narrative and driving it forward. As I said, I had no idea what was going on. I didn't work it out. My suspicions were incorrect. And I'm really pleased with that. So I really enjoyed it. And also when we did find out what was happening, it's not so much a case that I didn't work it out because it's so far-fetched, but I didn't work it out because it's cleverly done. And I won't say any more than that. But the point there being, of course, is that the journey was really good and the destination was pretty impressive as well. So I guess a spoiler from now, I'll discuss the one trap that I thought worked well. I don't have anything else to say about this because I don't want to spoil it. I did really enjoy it and I, I wasn't sure I would because I felt like, how can you have a Saw film that's not really Saw, it's not Jigsaw, it's seemingly not connected to Jigsaw, it's a long time after the fact, and it's a copycat killer, how, how is this going to work? But it worked, it worked really well. And I guess it paves the way for more films about copycat killers. I, I don't know if there's any plans to do that, I actually haven't got the slightest idea what Saw 10 is about. I have got no idea, and I'm intentionally avoiding spoilers, trailers, everything. I want to go in with as little knowledge as possible. So things I'm saying now might not make any sense with with uh, reference to that film. But either way, cannot wait to see it. So a tiny spoiler, the one trap that made me feel a bit sick. Um, actually, I want to discuss how I felt at the end as well. So I will, I will spoil the ending. So one small spoiler and then a, a huge, huge spoiler. Um, so the small spoiler, the trap that made me feel sick is the trap with the blade behind the neck and the intention of severing the back of the neck. I, it was, oh, no thank you, made me feel sick. That's the only one that affected me. The rest of them felt really tame. So huge spoiler for the ending. I won't actually go into too much detail, but this is a point that I want to make that 
was an interesting emotion for me that I'd not felt with the other eight films. And that at the end, I was gutted, heartbroken. It was a brilliant ending. I know I said big spoilers, but I'm still trying to not ruin it too much. But because, mostly because of Banks and how it affected Banks, I was just heartbroken. I was devastated. I was angry and I didn't want... Well, I didn't want certain things to happen to certain characters and I was really moved by it and quite emotional. And that that showed me, of course, that I'd had this emotional journey with the characters so much more than with most of the previous Saw films. And that absolutely worked in this film's favour. Obviously, if things had, you know, worked out perfectly fine for the characters I loved, it would have been a different feeling, a different ending. Equally as good, I think, maybe, but... Also, I feel like this ending gives us the chance to have more. And maybe it leads into Saw 10. As I said, I've got no idea. Absolutely no idea at this point. Really looking forward to Saw 10, though. Didn't think Spiral would be as good as it was. But I, I really thoroughly enjoyed it. And all I can say is that I hope the next film is even slightly just as good. And if so, I think we'll be in for a treat. <laughs>